I love when films do that, and it's just like no nonsense. This is like fucking, we're going after it. And even if I lose, fuck it, man. I'm putting everything into it. Yeah. And that's kind of what I got from the the main uh, character in Prey. Yeah. So. And honestly, I also think, like, I like that it was also a very small cast. It was. Yeah. It wasn't there weren't a lot of actors there. Like if, when I when I went on the, when I blah, when I went on the Wikipedia page, it was like this much people. Yeah. But that's good, mm-hmm. in my opinion. A small, like it less is more. Yeah. Just like with the trailer, when mm-hmm. it showed so little, and you were already like hooked. Bro, pray. Was pretty good. It was very good. It was pretty good. Pretty fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Blew me away. Yeah. My my bar was so low. Yeah, okay. Um. Do you want to discuss? what our expectations were right before we get into the movie. Yeah. My okay. expectations were pretty much, I saw Prometheus. And oh. I was like, Prometheus was, yeah. So I was like, now they're doing that for the Predator series. This is probably going to also be, yeah. Wow. Okay. I liked Prometheus only for Michael uh, Fassbender. Michael Fassbender is great. But about <laughs> like the Prey movie, I saw a trailer yeah. for this. Somebody just sent me a link to this. And I didn't know what the fuck it was. It was just like this... Um, this woman, like, uh, was a native First Nations or whatever. Well, how would you describe her? Indigenous. Indigenous. Thank you. <clears throat> Indigenous woman. Why are you shaking your head? Come on, man. Take a cultural studies I'm class. a fucking boomer. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Please God. don't hurt me. Um, anyways, so Indigenous woman is running in the field, and then another person comes in and tells her to be quiet or whatever. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is this movie? Mm-hmm. Out of nowhere, you hear the predator noise. No. <laughs> and then pray. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> They're making another one? <laughs> now, I was hyped for that because trailers like that are fucking awesome. They yeah. don't tell you anything about the movie, and it goes right into it. But I remember seeing the last Predator film. I remember how fucking terrible it was. Uh, you saw another. You saw the other Predator films? Uh, I saw the first one. I saw the honest trailer for the second one, and I was like, yeah, I, think I'm, uh, I don't think I'm going to bother. Mm. What's that you got there, Nevis? I have a Predator. Predator. If it bleeds... We can kill it. <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch! Oh, Christ. <laughs> yes! That was extra. <laughs> that was a bit extra. But yeah. you know what? Kind of hurt my arm there. Really? No. No. I, I, I didn't think so. You're <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> yeah, you kind of uh, made my arm flinch. What is with this fucking color? Huh? <laughs> I, I'm gonna take off my sunglasses. I fucking hate this. Reflective sunglasses. <laughs> um, first, have you ever seen a guy to BMW school? Yeah. yeah. yeah first, uh, first piece of uh, jewelry you must buy: reflective sunglasses. <laughs> and you also gotta empty all of your indicator juice out of your car. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we were literally just watching it. But uh, now about Prey. the first Predator film. Oh, Pre- Predator. Yeah. To get into the franchise, because I've seen a good majority of them. The only one I haven't seen is Predator Two. Okay. First Predator, classic. Yeah. It's a classic yeah. action film, revolutionized. Tons of one-liners. Yep. You Tons know, of one-liners. Just definitive eighties yeah. action movie. Loved it. You know? Predator Two. I've not seen it, but I know the premise. Mm. It is set in L.A. in the futuristic year of 1995. Damn. Yep. And everyone is sweaty. Danny Glover's in it. He fights a predator. Mm -hmm. And I think he wins. And the ending of that film is he is given a gun. But not just any gun. An old-fashioned gun from 1715. Ah. Which is going to come back soon in this discussion. And then they made the shitty Alien vs. Predator films, which I do not want to talk about because I think we discussed it in our Aliens episode. (laughs) You should check that episode out, You should. You should. Please. Please watch our videos. Please watch all of it. <laughs> oh, um, by the way, welcome back to the Real Talk podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look. Check out our Instagram. Yeah. Patreon to support the channel. Twitter. Yeah. You know, fucking subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off, man. It's okay, man. Um, so, yeah. Alien vs. Predator films. They suck. And then they made Predators, which was kind Wait, of- Wait, that came out in like 2018, right? No, 2009. Predators. What was the... Oh, The Predator the came Predator. out in 2018. They made a new one called The Predator, directed by Shane Black, which I really like his films. He did like... I do like The Shane Nice Black. Guys, Iron Man 3. Yeah. Pretty Super solid. Super underrated Marvel film. I, w- I wasn't a fan of it, but fuck it. I'll watch Iron Man 3 over The Predator, because that's his worst film. Oh, okay. <laughs> that film was very um, insulting in many ways, especially towards like um, 
I think it was people with like ADHD. There was like a subplot behind that with a kid. I don't want to go too much into it because it fucking is terrible. Yeah. How they wrote <laughs> it. But yeah, The Predator is a terrible film. It's probably my least favorite Predator film. Okay. So getting into the new movie Prey, I was a little worried because the Predator franchise has kind of been in a downward spiral. I mean, quality wise. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I'm glad that Prey was not that. Prey. It was a deserves. B- yeah. All the praise. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Josh, yes. I, I'm trying so hard not to get out of this couch <laughs> and do what and walk away. Slow on upstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs, and Josh, you're gonna have to do the rest of the podcast by yourself. Uh, hell yeah, the Real Talk podcast with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Christian will come on. Actually, we'll get Nathan back on. <laughs> He'll replace you. Um, what is it? We'll just pray at the patio. Pray was yes. Pray yeah. was fucking awesome. It, it was, was. It was refreshing. It was. I know we said refreshing to the previous episode we did. What did we do last week? Bullet train. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I will take praise pun over whatever the fuck that was. You liked it last week. What the fuck? I did, but that was because I might have been drinking. Anyways. You drinking more Canada Dry? What are you on a Canada Dry binge? Dude, listen. I am well, At this point, we, we should get sponsored by Canada Dry. We should. We're from Canada, aren't we not? Mother. Mm, Mother yucka dawn. <laughs> um, what did no. you like about Prey? I just... Like that it subverted my expectations. It, uh, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Um, it subverted my expectations by not being shit. Yeah. Is how I put it. Like, I really. That's fair. When you texted us, well, let's just do bullet. Let's, uh, what are our next episodes? Uh, let's do bullet train and, uh, hmm. let's do prey. I was like, fuck. Wow. I didn't want to watch prey. You didn't want to watch And it. you know what? I stand corrected. It was good. Oh, okay, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? So I, I thought you were like, I stand corrected. I didn't want to watch Prey. That's what it sounded like, right? But fucking Christian was like... Oh, yeah. maybe I'm the one on crack. You were subverting our expectations <laughs> off that comment. <laughs> but no, uh, I really didn't expect this movie to be good. Because I just think that like prequel movies nowadays, mm-hmm. especially for a franchise like Aliens or Predator, I feel like these movies try to explain the magic Mm. If that makes sense. Oh, yeah. And that's like a problem that the Star Wars prequels had with the fucking midichlorians and all that. Midichlorians. The only prequel franchise that I think has succeeded, not counting Prey, of course, is the Planet of the Apes movies. Yeah. Because what they did was a little bit different from the other ones. Talking about the one with uh, James Franco and then the sequels? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I love those movies. I love them, too. And it's like there you have to make the prequel franchise still have mystery. Yeah. Still have an underground. And (laughs) what I can say about Prey is... The Predator mythology is still very mysterious. Yes. And I love that. I love how there isn't a true explanation as to why the Predator is on planet Earth yeah. in 1715. He's just there, mm-hmm. and he's going to hunt. Yeah. He doesn't start off with humans. He starts out with rabbits. He starts out with lions, bears, tigers. Oh, my. You know, he goes for all kinds of animals. And then when he sees a human, that's his next match. Yeah. And that's what I love about it. It's the origin behind how he started. And why he targets humans. Exactly. And quite honestly, yeah. it kind of makes logical sense. It truly does. It's like, yeah, of course you'd go for the most, you know, the the most, like, equal in power to you. Yeah. To establish, to establish dominance. Oh, so, and also because the figure of a predator is similar to a human. Exactly. So they're like, yeah. wait a minute. It's kind of like, he's kind of like me. Kind of like me. Yeah. He's you just, know? Would you say that uh, he's establishing dominance? Would you say that the predator is a sigma man? <sighs> You know, you said that a few times before, and just uh, like your uh, fucking Instagram post. Yeah. Sigma male grind to. Hey, I appreciate the compliment, and you know what? It kind of predator. The predator kind of is. He oh. kind of gives off that that like male dominance, where it's just like yeah. But you know what? Prey was different than Predator. Yeah. I feel like there was areas in Prey that improved upon itself more so than Predator. Like it did things better than the original. And I hope we're not just talking about like action because of course no it's yeah. gonna be better it's i'm talking about characters yeah i like <clears> the <throat> characters in this i feel like um the main uh actress her arc mm-hmm. i feel like is much more Got interesting than dutch's in predator yeah but i feel like the, the reason why is because she's actually striving to become the best hunter mm-hmm. she's striving to become that and yeah it's so fucking fitting yeah that her match is a is a predator whereas in the original predator it was more just kind of like 
I, we got to survive. <laughs> we yeah. got to get the fuck out of here. Exactly. <laughs> but for her, she's like, no, I'm, I'm going to come after you. I need to avenge my, my, spoiler alert, my brother's death. Yeah. You know? That's fucking serious. And she has that emotional feeling, See, too. in the movie Predator, we weren't the Predators, but in the movie Prey, we were the Predators. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you can go that direction <laughs> and kind of stop catching me off guard with these fucking noises you make, Josh. God damn it. Fuck. I'm trying to figure out. It's a very clever film. Ah! Shut up. <laughs> the one. Very good, Paris. <laughs> Fuck. I feel like an 80 year old man. Like, you know, De Niro and the Irishman. Imagine like just some kid yells in his ear and that's how the movie ends abruptly. He's just like, uh, he's just sitting there, uh, that uh, iconic last shot. He's like, uh, and then the kid just, ah! and he's like, uh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> fucking Sinatra in plays. The <laughs> of the night! <laughs> Fuck, man. No, uh, sorry, I completely cut you off there by fucking being an asshat. Sorry. Yours okay? Oh, yeah, they're fine. I'm just trying to, like, take in what the fuck just happened. I said fairy godparents. Fairy godparents. Um, um, no, I. Genuinely, I do think she had a really great arc. Yeah. And I really think that the reason is because the original Predator movie really is kind of a product of its time. It's especially not really kind some, of it is. Well, it is, it is especially the infamous cockpit scene with the lines, I will not say them. Because yeah. um, Jesse Ventura does say a, a lot of Let's, uh, interesting lines. Yeah, I remember yeah. watching it watching it a few, uh, like a couple months ago, and I was like, wow. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I forgot this movie was that bad. Let's just say he calls himself a uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Doesn't he kind of say that in the film? Whatever. Anyways. Anyways. Prey was 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 nice in terms of its new uh, premise. Yeah. Of setting it into 1715. Mm-hmm. So no interaction with any characters from the other films whatsoever. Yeah. And, and I love that. And what's her name? Her name in real life is oh, Amber yes. Midthunder. She plays okay. Naru. Yeah. I saw I heard that and I was like, no. Naruto. Naruto. No, Naru, Naru was fantastic. I like how uh, this film is like um, the the cast, all the cast is indigenous and stuff like that. I feel yeah. like we don't get enough films with an all indigenous cast. With an all indigenous indigenous cast, but also yeah. I feel like movies that include indigenous characters, yeah, just have them play the most cliche. I'm talking about you, Wonder Woman. Ooh, yeah. His name is Chief. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Um, it's it's yeah that that's a, that's like casting mm-hmm. a brown guy in your movie and he's like this is Raj. Yeah, it like, truly. You is. know, some of us can be named Josh, right? Exactly. Hollywood cast me just in the saying, next Prey movie. Just saying, but yeah, with most indigenous uh, actors, it's like you either do like Dances with Wolves or you either do films like that, and it's just like I kind of like it how they made a Predator film and it's just like no, we're gonna fucking do this, and it's nice, it's fucking refreshing, and I also like. The characters. The the one thing I will say, because mm-hmm. it is set in 1715, and this might be my main issue with this film. Yeah. Why are they speaking English? That's true. They that's shouldn't. They should. You I, know. But the French people they, spoke French. But if that's your only complaint, yes, that really just goes to show how solid this movie is. It truly is. It really was. It blew me away because yeah. I was like going into this, I was like, this is gonna be crap. The, yeah. I didn't see any trailers, but the poster cat had me like, eh. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw some of the stills on like on Instagram and whatnot. But yeah. then I saw one person put up, um, the the prey movie is fantastic. Yeah. Go watch it. And I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. And I gave it a shot. Not only because we were doing an episode on it, but also because I was like, yeah, maybe I should. I judged mm-hmm. it too quickly, and I definitely did judge it way too quickly. Yeah. That. That's the end of my sentence. Oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. Dude, how tired are you? <laughs> Wait. The Canada Dry? You know there's no caffeine in that, right? There isn't? Does Canada Dry have caffeine? I don't know. I know Coca-Cola does. Also, another scene that I liked about Prey was um, when the French soldiers come in. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, hey we're going to take down the Predator in their you know, French accent, whatever. You just like turned off all of our French viewers. Fuck! Not that we have Oh, shit. Any. I forgot Carrie's. Fr- oh, my God. Yeah, I'm so uh, whatever. I fucked up. I fucked up, Josh. It's I I forgive you. Anyways, the scene is kind of reminiscent of like the Predator movie, the original, where it's just like all the soldiers are like, "All right, we're ready. We're gonna take this guy down." We're yeah, ready. and they all fucking fail. Yep. And I think that's a that's a nice jab at uh, you can't do that way. You can't do that method. You gotta yeah. go one on one, hardcore. I also think fucking female empowerment, dude. 
fucking love that. I love it. Yeah. I've been saying since like since like our New Year's episode that I just love movies that write a, a well have a well written female character. But you know what? This film, it wasn't like the fucking Ghostbusters film where they marketed oh and that was heavily dependent on it. This film was like, no, no, no. We know it's a good fucking movie. We know you guys are gonna watch it. Boom. Yeah. And there and, you go. And look, it's a girl. What? Yes, Josh. <laughs> Who has a great character arc. What? What? Wow. No, it was fantastic. It was a breath of fresh air. Yeah. It, it really caught me off guard how good this movie was because I really yeah. – I would have been surprised if this movie was mediocre, honestly. I would have been praising it even if it would just didn't suck. Yeah. But the fact that it was actually really good, mm -hmm. that the characters had good uh, had good like arcs, that the dialogue was an absolute cringe mm -hmm. at most parts. Um, well, they had to do the callback of Predator. It's like, if it bleeds, we can kill it. And I was just thinking like, well – yeah, I don't think if you're if you're gonna do one pickup line from the movies, that's it's better probably than if she threw her bet. tomahawk at stick around. Oh, if she said that, I would have died laughing. I'd be like, motherfucker. <laughs> this on. isn't an action, it's a comedy. It's a comedy. <laughs> Nobody said Dylan, you son of a bitch. Luckily, yeah. there's no <laughs> Nauru. <laughs> Nobody made Naruto joke. She didn't do the Naruto run. No, no. She she was uh she was solid. She was solid. And also just Amber uh Mid what's her name? Mid Thunder? Yeah. No, you just she just she did a really great job. Yeah. Like, now she's on my radar. I'm like, Fuck this yeah. is a, I'm going to keep an eye on your career. Yeah. We will watch your career with great interest. <laughs> watch your career. Yes, exactly. Palpatine. Yeah. Um, but uh, another thing I liked about it, too. I noticed that the director of this film also did 10 Cloverfield Lane. I didn't watch that. But here's the thing. That director, 10 Cloverfield Lane, wasn't marketed as a Cloverfield sequel until, like, I think three months before the film was released. Mm -hmm. They showed the trailers. So I think this guy... Is doing sequels, well-made sequels for that matter, because I heard good reviews of that film as well, of these movies, and he's just surprising marketing them. Or maybe that's just a coincidence. Either way, I kind of like that. Another director that has made sequels that are better than the original, or arguably on par, I like to say. I know you might disagree, but I think Prey is a well-made film that has resurrected the Predator franchise. That's a bold statement. <clears throat> yeah. I will statement. have to rewatch it though because I've seen, I've seen this. I think we've both seen this film more than once. Oh, it's Predator, of course. <laughs> I've seen this I'm a lot it. of times. Yeah. I can quote this. The Predator poster is like the ma the most masculine thing a man can own. Arnold with his gun, just like ugh. The most and iconic the, scene for me is uh, what's his name? That guy shaving his face, and it just snaps on it. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Yo, I think another thing too was uh, what was it? Was it Billy in the first one? Billy is the uh, mustache guy. No, no, no. He's the one where he's just like he just stands. He's like Billy, and then he takes off his like. Necklace. Oh, the indigenous his... character. But here's the thing. That no, I just think no, because in each Predator film, except Predator Two, because I haven't seen it, each character has that moment. One of the characters. So Billy had it in the first movie. In Predators, there was another guy. Um, he was an Asian uh, character, or whatever. He had his sword, and it was part of his culture to fight mm -hmm. one on one with the Predator, and I just love that. And then they kind of butchered it in the Predator movie, the newest one, which fucking sucked. There's always that moment where it's like one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. And it's just like, this is my belief. This is my fucking, you know. It's like, ooh, you know. It's like Northman energy. You got to <laughs> – no, I'm not even kidding. Like, I love when films do that. And it's just like, no nonsense. This is like fucking – we're going after it. And even if I lose, fuck it, man. I'm putting everything into it. Yeah. And that's kind of what I got from the, the main – uh, character in Prey. Yeah. So. And honestly, I also think, like, I like that it was also a very small cast. It was. Yeah, it wasn't. There weren't a lot of actors there. Like, if, when I when I, on the, when, I blah, when I went on the Wikipedia page, it was like this much people. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good, mm -hmm. in my opinion. A small, like, it less is more. Yeah. Just like with the trailer, when mm -hmm. it showed so little, and you were already, like, hooked. Yeah. Less is more. I just realized, too, when you mentioned Billy being an indigenous character, I was like, holy fuck, that was just a coincidence. Yeah? I just realized that. Yeah. I, didn't I mean, know. <laughs> I would not be happy if in the Prey sequel they tried no, to connect. No, they wouldn't. Fuck Knowing it. Hollywood and the things like, we've seen. I'm like Pacino and Irish. Like, they wouldn't dare. <laughs> they wouldn't dare, Josh. <laughs> they wouldn't bring back 80-year-old hey. Arnold for the sequel. <laughs> They're saying it is what it is. Jimmy, they say what it is. is. What is it? They're not bringing it back. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's what it is. <laughs> yeah. If they say what it is, well, fuck them. You know? um, Nobody can stop Hoffa. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Isn't it kind of refreshing? Would you have wanted, 
And I know the answer, but I just want to make sure. Would you have wanted if prey didn't exist and instead they were like, you know what? Predator New Beginnings starring no. Arnold Schwarzenegger and his you know, 80 year old Arnold no. fighting Fuck the that. Predator for exactly, Fuck exactly. No. Nobody wants I that. I saw Terminator, what's it called? Dark Fate. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any faith. <laughs> Terminator, dark uh, franchise death. I don't know. That's actually, it? okay, that's the other one. Because I was thinking like, yeah. Alien is the other one. What's the other franchise I was thinking about that I would compare it to where it's like, they're really just milking this old franchise. Terminator. Terminator. There it yeah. is. Yeah. I don't know how I couldn't remember that. It's but, okay, because it's forgettable. But what would you uh, what would you rate this movie? Prey, Scale I would probably give it seven, eight. Really? I'm thinking more seven. I'd put a solid eight on it. Eight? Nice. Eight is like a movie that I'm like, that's a solid movie, and I would recommend it to my friends. Oh, guaranteed. So I'm trying to me. think because I think I gave, like, I would give Predator eight. Yeah. So I don't want to give Prey eight because I've only seen it once, and I want to give it more watchability and yeah, seeing if that's it's. True. No, that's a good point. Yeah. But I, I love mean, the climax. Yeah. I love, like, the way she killed the Predator. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's fucking clever. What the fuck? Like, she's a smart, she's a clever girl. Clever girl, yes. Clever girl. And the so. Predator. I mean, I don't really have much else to say on it, so in case you didn't know. Oh, yeah, shit. In case you didn't know, fellow viewers. It's going to get a little emotional. Real, fellow real talkers, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but this is the finale of our of our fourth season. No, Fourth third. season, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> it is the finale of our third season. Oh, yeah, Canada's 150 years old. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't research anything I say. <laughs> the finale of our third season, but more third importantly, season. this episode came out on a Saturday, not a Friday. Yeah. And the reason for that is it's officially been one year of us uploading, doing a podcast, guys. Yeah. And I would one like year. to say, I love you guys. Love you too. This has been fucking fantastic. This is fucking surreal. I, you know, who would have thought we would have actually made it to a year? Like, did you guys yeah. actually think we got, would, you didn't think we'd make it to a year? Yeah. Yeah, like quick takes. We definitely we have evolved. Now. We definitely evolved yeah. from our yeah. first episode. One year growth, like if you were watching the first thing before you got here. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. The voices My massive, yeah. and uh, the, yeah, the, oh, the yeah. crude humor. The crude humor, the very professional segues, you know, it was uh it was very it yeah. was very the nice. the amount of like just off topic stuff, just because we really didn't have and it's yeah. funny what's funniest about that is mm -hmm. we had general scripts for those episodes that's sad and we don't is, have yeah. scripts for these episodes like yeah we like okay let's talk about a rating it's probably yeah we didn't have we had we'd, okay so we'd like, like say like oh we're doing a rocky episode okay we're going to talk about bullet points yeah, what boom, we boom, like boom. about it who our favorite character is yada 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 yeah and we really just bullshitted so much in those episodes we kind of did and um i think yeah, we were like, oh, let's just keep on talking because that's what podcasts do. That was my dumb ass. And it's also like we weren't as, as analytic as we are now. No. Not that we are great. And you guys remember the original episodes were like 50 minutes. Yeah, those episodes we aimed for an hour. That was a for fucking an, That was a bad decision. I feel like the I mean, only time we would do that now is for the interviews because yeah. we're actually having longer discussions with people. Yeah, the interviews we really just go on until there is a natural close. Yeah. So, speaking of which, check out our interviews. Check out our Real Talk interviews. We got more coming in. Um, we're going to we get do. more people and uh, what? We do. <laughs> Fucking hey, we do. Hey, <laughs> Josh yeah. is like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> shows up out, uh, shows up one hour late. Bro, what happened? <laughs> what I miss? What I miss? <laughs> but um, no, yeah. I'm I'm really proud of us. What was this. your favorite moment within this year of doing real talk? What there, would you say is your favorite? Moment? Uh, fuck that! I'm not doing one moment. I'm gonna pick top three. Okay, there's, there's let's, so let's many do top three. Top let's three. do top three. Uh, top three moments would probably be number one, just. Number one's kind of well. The first one I can think of is it's kind of a combination. I just loved love our Monday calls. Yeah, because man. our Monday calls really are kind of just an unfiltered version of our podcast. Truly, where is. we just talk. We well, we yeah, we have a little one busy in like a right now, but when we pick it up, we pick no, it up. I really enjoy those. Yeah. Um, other than that, like, I just enjoy. I honestly love opening up the podcast. Like, I find like the first like five minutes of the podcast is kind of my most enjoyable. Not that like yeah. we ta we tamper off or anything. No, yeah. But I just really enjoy opening something you know yeah and favorite moment of the podcast isn't even part of the podcast i just look real. I, I really look back fondly on the time we actually decided let's fucking make this real and do a podcast and i looked at chris and i was like you want to do a podcast and he's like yeah yeah and we just decided to do it 
Hell yeah, man. I, I, I think for me, like, um, I'll try to do top three. I'll try to... You don't have to. But, like, I think the one thing I, I, I remembered from all of these episodes is just, like, how the energy kept on growing in different ways and just mm-hmm. being like, yeah, even if we stumbled a bit, because we did, let's admit it, we yeah, did stumble a perfect. bit. It's only our first year. Exactly. But even then, we still, like, were able to work around it. And I feel like our chemistry has evolved as well. Yeah. From our first episode. And I think that's, like... From just from looking back, I'm like, damn! I was even listening to some older episodes uh-huh. just out of the womb because I was doing chores today, and I was like, man, I fucking love this! I fucking love your inputs! I fucking love just like you know hitting off each other and are you, stuff. Are you flirting with me? You're gonna make me blush. I love Josh. <laughs> I got if it isn't hours. obvious already, <laughs> <laughs> here's some chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's great. when I look back at the first episode versus, let's say, last week's episode. Yeah. I feel like the first episode, it's more of us just talking, like, as friends. Right. Yeah. And more recently, we've actually just become f- still friends, but yeah. we're really two movie lovers, just two movie reviewers now. Yeah. Like, and I, I feel like our opinions on movies has grown because of that. We're able to be more bit. articulate Absolutely. with uh, what we want to say and stuff. So if somebody asks you, for example, like, hey, what would you think of Prey? It's like... Fucking, I know. Yeah, you I know just I mean, yeah. Uh, first thing I think of is oh, the performances were so and so. I thought the t- the script was tight. I thought yada yada yada. You know, I don't think oh yeah, it was solid, man. Good yeah, movie, bro. Exactly. Yeah, that's the th- cool thing I like to when I talk about movies is like and maybe that's why at the very beginning we did need those scripts. Yes, but then it just became part of us because we kind of do hit some of those points like characters, script, yeah. y- all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Just naturally now, and we yeah. don't script any of these episodes. We mm-hmm. just sit down. Also, we don't really talk. It's nice that we don't talk about the movies before the podcast. Yeah, that's our that's our rule that we've made for ourselves. We're like, like maybe we might say like a couple sh- words before, while we're setting up, or like when I show up. But oh, yeah. other than that, we don't talk about it. Not at even all. Christian. Christian might ask, "What do you think of it?" And even I'm like, "Good or bad?" I yeah. don't say anything after that because then I lose that energy for. Uh, an episode yeah. like this. And we want to keep it genuine and all that stuff. Exactly. Like last week, I kind of fucked up when I did the whole bullet train uh, joke at the very <laughs> beginning. And I caught you guys off guard. And I was like, fuck, I should have waited to do that in the episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's Wait. a lot of energy in that regardless. But uh, Christian, what would you say is your favorite moment yeah, of doing this, this podcast for the last year? We're trying our best with the audio. It's all good. <laughs> this guy forgot to bring his mic. Don't worry. We can hear you. We can hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all good. Um, yeah, I was going to say like, how much we've grown. Mm-hmm. I also think um, how good interviews have been. Like, yeah. yeah. It's caught me so off guard I'd... how good interviews have been, do- have been, yeah. Have been going. Yeah. To be, on, to be honest, I was kind of on the fence. I was like, I don't know if this is going to be good, especially because they're longer form content. Mm-hmm. They're not as creative as the podcast is. Yeah. Or, and nowhere near as creative as like your quick takes, which I mm-hmm. think is my favorite addition to the channel. Oh, the thanks, most man. recent. The most recent. Iter- like, uh, yeah. Yeah, we we've reinvented it twice, but I feel like we're going to something with this one. Yeah. I'd say this is my favorite iteration of the quick takes. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking. Quick takes are the ones I will. I. And I think it has yeah. a lot of rewatchability. Thanks. Because yeah. they're shorter and they're a lot funnier. And and they kind of summarize what these episodes are. If you don't feel comfortable watching a 30-minute episode, there you go. we got three minutes. Yeah. Here's our thoughts. Here's some memes. This is Josh saying something stupid. End of video. <laughs> exactly. But um, I do agree with the Real Talk interviews. And I like how we're kind of like spreading out the word, not just from us. We're, that's the thing about YouTube channels is that they're always contained. Unless they feature someone. It's like, oh, featuring this YouTuber, featuring that. And I really wanted to strive to get that out mm-hmm. with the Real Talk interviews. Yeah. So, like, with people, they got their own stuff. They got their own. That's whether true, Whether it be yeah. short films, whether it be YouTube videos. And even it if it's music. something not film related. Even then, I want to spread the word out. Hey, it's like, hey, this is what they're doing. We got a Real Talk interview yeah, interviewing them. a chill them. conversation. Yeah, and I want to, like, spread out. I um, also... Yeah. What I, I... I think about this quite often, actually, and I'm, I'm, it's weird that I haven't mentioned it yet, but... Like, my younger brother, Matt, he has a YouTube channel, and he has a podcast. Yeah. Well, he hasn't uploaded on his podcast in a while, but mm-hmm. the thing is, he's not that, like, I wouldn't say proud of it, but he doesn't, like, talk about it. And okay. he hates, like, when we're watching it or, or like, we just talk about his YouTube channel. He hates that. Mm. But I just kind of have a sense of pride in this. Yeah. Like, I'm proud to say that I do a podcast, yeah. and I will tell people about it. I tell random people. Yeah. You know, I met a, a guy came up to me today. He's like, uh, a resident. I don't really talk to him that much, but mm-hmm. we're cool. And he's like, oh, you want to play Mario Kart later? And I was like, no, I'm driving to Brampton. I got to do a podcast. 
You do a podcast? Yeah. Yeah, do you not fucking follow me? <laughs> <laughs> but, Same here, man. Like, if somebody asks, like, as jokingly, because there's some people, some of my friends are just like, oh, you're talking about the podcast, huh? Like, fuck and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do, because um, it's nice. It's kind of cool that uh, we've done this for a year now, and uh, we're still going strong. Most people I know that attempt podcasts or even YouTube channels in general like this don't even last a year, and they kind of no just simmer yet. down, they delete it, and then... Whoo, and what was the statistic? I remember we threw this statistic around a lot in the first, like, few months. Do you remember, Christian? Like, every podcast, like, most podcasts yes. end after, like, four episodes. Four episodes. And we what is made, our number? And uh, is this going to be our 50th episode? Hell yeah. This is, our, this is our 50th episode. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah! 50 <laughs> episodes, one year. <laughs> Because we've done two seasons and two uploads on Fridays that were not episodes. It was just a recap. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that yeah. technically doesn't count. Technically, though. we don't count recaps. Yeah. Recaps are just us <laughs> fucking content farming. Yeah. We're content like, oh, <laughs> we need something to come out, uh, and we don't really want to film because yeah. we need a break. We're and that's no, another. Just put something together. That's another thing that we need to discuss as well, which I think is a given because this is our season three finale. We're going to take a week off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going to take a week off? Is that the uh, time? Is, yeah, yeah it's we're, we're going to do a... Uh, a week? Yeah, you mentioned the... We're going to do, do a year-long recap yeah. because we've been doing this for a year. And so I we're going to do all the best hits for y'all. So you're going to get to see Josh do that weird, like, <laughs> thing. Oh, Christ. You know, I'm probably going to add that in. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We're going to do the, the Kung Fu Panda. Definitely do that. That's a genius idea. Do the which one? <laughs> like, you know how you do the... Between every oh, episode, yeah. don't do that. Do a fucking. <laughs> ah, the, you're, you you want to see that twenty five times? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Let's Good. do it. Jesus man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus man. Let's do a vi- an episode. Let's do an episode on like the God's Not Dead trilogy. We will get so much heat for that. No. <laughs> Yo, we will get canceled so quickly. Well, you know, Josh. Now that you said it, we gotta do it. No. <laughs> no. God. No. Please. <laughs> what about Morbius? We're gonna. Do I think I'd more. rather do God's Not Dead. <laughs> Really? Okay. Oh, no, I was kidding. Dude, that meme's been dead. God's not dead. Meme's been dead. Yeah, I agree. But, yeah, going back to the recap. Um, yeah, we um, yeah, we, we usually take a little week off in between seasons just because life gets, you know, life's in the way and everything. Yeah. And we do need a break. And um, also, like, I'm just, you know, I, I, I got my shit going on. You guys have got your shit going on. Same, yeah. It gives us a, t- a chance to, like, just chillax for a bit and then regroup. And then plan out a little bit longer. Yep. And, you know, how can we increase? You know, what can we do to make views better? What can we do to make our content more fresh? Mm-hmm. Why don't you mention uh, what's going to be going on with Nathan? Yes. So I, I don't know what's going on with Nathan. Well, we were talking about with uh, Nathan, uh, another person that we have been talking with. Most recent uh, interview. Most recent real talk interview. Um, we're gonna have a new segment with him where really? we're just gonna have a chillax time with. Oh yeah, real yeah. real late night talks. Real late night talks, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. That's our title introduction. Imagination. <laughs> Imagination. Yeah. But yeah, it's basically just more of a laid back uh, overview of specific movies that we all three want to yeah. discuss about. And it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it's It'll really. Might be a little bit longer of format. It's going to be bi-weekly, so we're going to be releasing then. Yeah. And uh, we don't have a specific start date for that yet, but when we do, it's going to be awesome. It's coming out soon, man. It's coming out. Coming it's coming out. out. We're, we're basically making more videos than ever before for you, the audience. You want to know why? Because y'all keep watching, and we all love you very much. Much. I don't know why I'm talking slow. Yeah, I think like, it's because bro. I'm. I guess, <laughs> yeah, what, what the hell I'm is trying that? to sound dramatic. Like somebody got this guy an Oscar. Like who is that? Captain Kirk. Yes, I am William Shatner. William Shatner. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I want to. I'm thinking about like where we can go further because I don't. I really don't want to stop talking. Neither about do this I. Because I really, I just really am proud of us. Yeah. Like it's fucking awesome, guys. It truly is. I, I, I wouldn't say I didn't think we'd get this far, but it's more like I never thought this far ahead. Yeah. Like, podcast-wise. Yeah. Like, I do a lot of thinking, like, where I want to be in a year and where I want, what I want to be doing in, like, five years and, yeah, yeah. and that kind of stuff. But mm-hmm. I really never thought a year from now when we first sat down and did our, our Rocky episode yeah. that a year from now we would be 
do yeah, this man. again. And we, and we would have been consistent. We've been fucking consistent for an entire year. Fuck, that's insane to think about. We all have full-time. You have a full-time job, right? Yeah. We all have full-time jobs. <laughs> I'm still in school. Yeah. Like, we, and we've managed to do this. The point is, if there's a will, there's a fucking way. There truly is. I think that's like, the main message. If you really yeah. want something. Yeah. Something, yeah. You will fucking move heaven and earth. Yeah. Like, if you really want something, you will go get it, and nobody can stop you from that. Truly. I found a car service to drive my ass from Waterloo to Brampton and back yep. to film this podcast because, you know what? I really want to do this with you guys. Same. And honestly, I just really want to see you guys because it's just – Same, man. Like, other than Cupid, we never saw each other after high school. No. At least, like, myself to you two. Exactly. We tried, like, talking about other ideas and here and there, but we've like, all no. been busy with the scheduling. Yeah. But I'm kind of glad that, like, this podcast kind of gave us – a consistent regimen of being all together and consistently, just, you know, it's just like updates, man. I just I, reconnected us. I like hearing like when you come over and you're just like, Hey, you know, it's King Street Towers news. Let me tell you that. I'm wearing the fucking merch. He's wearing it. I'm wearing the fucking it's merch. Wearing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's great. It's kind of fucking pretty close friends. Honestly, I'd say you guys are my closest friends. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Same here. Because I've I, known you guys longer than like any of the people in like my college. Yeah. And on, well, the thing for me is like, even in high school, we weren't really that close. Like, I'd say in grade 12, we really talked a lot because of yeah. tough. Yeah, that's true. But, like, I met you in grade 10, and we talked a lot. We talked quite a bit in grade 10, but we didn't really talk much in grade 11. No. I met Christian in grade 11. Yeah. We talked a lot in grade 11, mainly because we sat next to each other, and Christian had to deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, his yeah. last name starts with a C, and my, <laughs> my last name starts with a B, so he's like, fuck. <laughs> but, uh, yep. and then data management, me and Christian had together. But, like, yeah. It's been nice to actually like get to know you guys. Memory lane, you know? man. It's it's fucking awesome. The and I, I wanna do uh we're at fifty episodes now and we're gonna do fifty more. Then we're gonna do fifty more. And we're gonna do fifty fucking thousand. Yeah. Until one of <laughs> until until I'm eighty four and then you guys fucking kill me on the podcast. Eighty <laughs> four? You fucking cut it down to twenty. You were like, when I'm 104, you fucking kill me. Well yeah, I, I, every day I get close and closer to <laughs> wanting to die. <laughs> Bro, this morning, yo, I almost got hit by a car, and I was like, yo, bring it on! Bring it on, man. <laughs> bring but, it on. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just leave you with that. Yeah. If there's a will, there is a fucking way. Truly. You will find a way. Mm -hmm. And with all that being said, we really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank yeah. you so very much for sticking with us, putting up with us, and mm -hmm. watching us grow. Leave a comment down below yeah. your favorite moment from the last year. Um, leave, Give us a like if you love Matthew's he hair, and give us a like even if you don't like it. Because same with, wear a hat. same with Josh and his hat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, check out our Instagram to see some of our shorter clips. And if you want to support the channel, we have a Patreon. And with all that being said, we will talk to you guys in the next season. Next season. Peace out, y'all. Peace out.